Hi, Teresa Momber here, and this is a look at the card I'm going to show you how to make in today's video. Cut and emboss white cardstock using Spellbinder's A2 Matting Basics A die template. And then use scissors to trim along the edge of a sticky note to create a mask for the snowbank and place over your die cut. Begin sponging along the edge of the mask using Gina K Designs Powder Blue Ink. Keep sponging working up into the upper areas of the die cut. Switch to Gina K Navy Ink and continue sponging, but this time just work right along the very edge of the mask. Remove the first mask and trim another sticky note to create a second mask for another snowbank. Once again, sponge with Gina K Powder Blue Ink. Switch to Navy Ink and again sponge just along the edge. Remove your second mask and once again trim along a sticky note to create a third snowbank mask. With this mask in place, sponge again using Gina K Powder Blue ink. Switch to navy ink and once again sponge very lightly along the edge of the mask. Remove the last mask and now sponge along the edges of the die template using Gina K Powder Blue ink. Remove the die cut from the die template and place a sticky note on the left edge covering the framed portion for when we stamp the image. Now stamp the pine cone branch from the Peace and Joy stamp set from Gina K Designs using Gina K Black Onyx ink. Stamp the image a second time just right along the edge of the left side to add a few more pine needles. Remove the mask and begin coloring using Copic Marker E37 for the pine cone. Use the same color to fill in the branch. Switch to Copic Marker E33 and fill in the remaining areas on the pine cone.
Now use Copic marker YG97 to add some color to the pine needles. Trim a one half inch strip of white cardstock and stamp the sentiment, also from the Peace and Joy stamp set, using Gina K Navy ink. Use scissors to trim the edges of the sentiment strip. Prepare a four and a quarter by five and a half inch white card base and then emboss a raised frame to the front of the card base using a larger size of A2 Matting Basics A die template. After you've embossed your frame, remove the die template and fold your card base. Trim a piece of navy cardstock to slightly larger than your image layer and then adhere. Trim another piece of navy cardstock to slightly larger than the sentiment layer and adhere those as well. Add adhesive to the back of your image layers and then adhere to the card base. Apply dimensional foam squares to the back of the sentiment layer and adhere to the card. That completes today's video. Thanks for watching.